morning. So this morning I'm off to have another um, Casey facial at Pure Beauty in Fulham. And I tell you what, I'm not, I've had, I think, three. And I really do feel like it's starting to give me definition. And I do genuinely think I see a difference because you know I was all about that double chin life, but actually, from the side, it's looking pretty fabulous, darlings. So I think I've got about maybe one or two more sessions left. Um, so I will obviously keep you all informed. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Post-workout lunch, some chicken, some chorizo, honey roast ham, and a nice fresh salad. Carb-free, fresh, delicious, yummy, perfect after my wonderful boxing class. Just delicious. Hi guys. Well, I'm all hot and sweaty. Apologize for the way I look. Ugh. I have just finished my Instagram live workout with Roland and I've rushed home because I really want to make a yummy supper. Haven't done a recipe for a while and I have really been craving this one. So I'm gonna do a vegetarian chili con carne, but with corn mince, so it tastes really yummy and meaty. So um, yeah, let's get started. First things first, as per usual, chop up an onion. Five sprays. Keep it low calorie. Put in half an onion. And chop up two cloves of garlic. Small chunks. And you want to let that fry down for about two or three minutes. Then we're going to put in the seasoning. So the last of my chili in. We're going to put, I bought a brand new paprika. I'm going to put in some paprika. Some life-saving turmeric. Some hot chili powder. You know I like my chili extra spicy. And the magic ingredient, smoked paprika. Now you just need a tiny bit of this bad boy. So look on the knife, a tiny weeny little bit, just a pinch. And it gives it a really yummy, like smoky flavor. So let those toast. All the flavors infusing, it's absolutely delicious. Then we go in with half a red and half a yellow pepper. Then I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I am, if I can find them, I've got my organic kidney beans and I am gonna give them Just a couple of minutes drain off some of the water and put them in the pan. Giving them a couple of minutes under the heat when they start like popping and bursting and it just, it creates another layer of flavor that you will just, you'll die for, it's amazing. Oh, mm, the smell, it's, oh, it's so yummy. 
and you'll see they start to kind of not burst open but they sort of pop open and spread open and it takes what a minute and a half two minutes but it is worth it's so worth it it's so worth it Heat this off, kidney beans straight in. And put them on there actually because it's quite hot. Give a little stir in. And then we're gonna go straight in with, again, organic if you can, plum tomatoes. Plum is best for chili con carne, don't ask me why. It just, I don't know, it just tastes the best I think. So straight in there and then I'm going to fill this can up with water and pour some water into it. I'm going to do one more because I want it to really reduce down. So in total there's about a litre of water, well not a litre of liquid in here. Give it a nice stir. Pop in some coriander now. Obviously, if you don't like coriander, leave it out. But if you know me, you will know I am obsessed. So a handful, finely chopped. Stalks and all, people. The stalks are delicious. Straight in there. Bit of seasoning time, so a bit of salt, pink Himalayan always. Black pepper, lots of it, we like the black pepper. So that's the base of your sauce. So I'm gonna let that reduce down for at least half an hour now. I'm gonna put the lid on on a low heat and just let it bubble away and don't touch it, just leave it. Give it a stir if you need to, but just leave it if you can. And I am going to go and freshen up and then I'm going to come back and we are going to make a delicious guacamole to go with it. Yay. So I've decided I'm feeling a little bit stiff and I'm not going to have a shower. I'm going to run a nice bath. So I'm going to make all the ingredients of the supper now. And then when I get out the bath, I can just sit down and we're ready to eat. So we're going to make, let's turn this over and make it fresh. Ta-da! We're gonna make a guacamole, really simple. Take the other half of the onion. And take an avocado, give it a little squidge. If it squishes easily, you know it's right. Now be careful when cutting an avocado. Thanks to millennials, something like A&E admission for avocado when they're trying to cut down in the hands has gone up by about 300%. So just get the stone out. Then we're gonna squeeze half a lime over the avocado. We're going to add the onion, chopped onion. And then we're going to get some cherry tomatoes and we're going to chop them in half. I'm going to scoop out the middle because that's the bit we don't need. We just want the sort of outside bit. So you've got small bits of tomato in there. Add some fresh coriander, my favourite. Again, if you don't like it, you can leave it out. And give it a really good mix. Really good with your hands, get in there. You don't have to use your hands, but it is fun. <laughs> it feels so squishy. Gonna give it a little taste. Mm. Mm hmm. A little bit more lime. But that 
is honestly delicious. And that's it. It looks a bit of a mess, but that is homemade guacamole. You do not need to go to the shop and buy it. It is so fresh, it is so fragrant, it is so good for you, so healthy, full of nutrients. Get yourself some homemade guac, people. It is delicious. Just start the bath in my fluffy PJs, red cheeks. But now, so that sauce was reduced down by about a third. And now we add corn mints. Put the lid back on for about, how long does this say? 10 minutes and then it should be done. And here it is. Smoky, yummy, gorgeous chili guacamole homemade and some broccoli this is five of your five a day on one plate people yum